civil engineer and I'm 30, 38 years old. What did you study? I studied civil engineering, specifically geotechnical engineering in the States. Any further studies after the degree? Yeah, so I completed the degree and then I became, uh, I took a test and trained under a professional engineer. Mm -hmm. And then I took another test and became a professional engineer. Years of experience? 10, more or less. What kind of projects do you work on? It just, it varies. Usually they're very like uh, construction projects revolving, you know, energy companies and whatnot. What do you do in your job? Uh, I work in sales and estimating. What are the most important qualities to work as a salesperson? Um, I think meeting new people, you know, that's important. Yeah. Um, having an open mind and then not being afraid to be rejected. <laughs> did you start in sales? How did you end up in this job? No, I didn't start as sales. I worked, you know, kind of slowly worked my way there and then just decided to, you know, mm -hmm. got that position opened up and I moved towards that area. How many hours you work daily? It De depends on uh, deadlines and whatnot. Sometimes it can be usually base is 40 right but sometimes you're obviously yeah. working a little bit over that what's the salary range of your profession in the states between so i would say 60 70 75 depending on the industry you're working in and i would say like as you get more experience if you become licensed engineer that probably jumps from 80 to 100 plus depending on where you're at how do you compare the work environment between the states and here in europe or spain yeah i would say it's a little bit more uh, tranquil here, right? <laughs> uh, calmer, a little. Yeah, I would say like in the U.S. it feels a lot more pressure, right? You start very early, you, you move a little bit quicker, faster. Depends on the industry too, right? Do you get paid extra for overtime? Um, no, but there are some places where they you can include that, especially if you're working on co in contract. Um, you can, you know, work your 40 hours. Anything above that, you get paid. Uh, extra. It's a little bit different because you're not getting certain benefits. Like in the States, we have health insurance, which is different than Europe, you know? Yeah. And so if you work in contract, you don't usually get... Does the company cover your health insurance? And unfortunately in the States, yeah, it's a little bit different than here. We uh, have to pay a lot for health care, and, but usually the companies will take care of that part. Is housing expensive in the States? In Barcelona, for an apartment, it's about a thousand euro. Yeah, it's similar to where I live as well. Uh, in the city, right? But if you go outside the city, it gets a little bit more or less expensive. Yeah. How's the construction sector in Spain? I feel like it's growing, right? It's I think growing. I think I think so. You know, um, especially it depends on the sector, right? Um, Barcelona, I don't know, but I feel like you know, there's always going to be construction going yeah. on yeah, <laughs> no matter what yeah. as long as you know the money's there and the projects are moving forward and whatnot and so it just depends on you know uh, a number of factors right obviously when you know the economy is bad construction yeah. kind of slows down that's usually the first sign your advice to the younger people you have a lot of time right especially in your 20s to 30s right you don't have to necessarily jump into something very quick I would say try out new things try as many new things as you can see what you like what you don't like and gravitate to stuff that makes you more happy right <laughs>